Welcome fellow zombie survivors, Rodamont here. Thank you for tuning in to Project Zomboid, King of Louisville, Episode 7, Searching for Magazines. Uh, so right at the start here, you guys are going to vote on what I do first, and it looks like we're going to be searching for Generator and Jetteray Magazine. But let's go ahead and prepare for the night tonight. I'm going to be putting away this katana. One of the reasons to put away the katana is uh, until I get higher maintenance skill, we're basically just abusing it. And I think what I'll do instead is have the machete. I have a machete somewhere in here and have the machete as a backup quick weapon rather than the katana because the katana is a, a wee bit precious. It would be a really good weapon to use if I was heading somewhere particularly dangerous like a mall, let's say. And I need to, to slice and dice quickly. Um, all right, looks like we're going to be searching for generators. Search for generator book. So there's a few different places to search for a generator book or generator magazine. I think the generator itself is actually much easier to find. So let me open the map and explain why. There is guaranteed generators in the checkpoint down here, and I do have a running vehicle. So it would be a little gnarly to have to drive that far and then drive all the way back, but it would be entirely possible. Uh, that and I've already found a generator in this garage, but I think this generator is even further than where the guaranteed generators are. And they're guaranteed because they're baked into the map. In the military checkpoint, there's a bunch of camps here, and those camps have generators, and they're guaranteed. Uh, there are storage... Um, self-storage facilities near where I live, but it's not as much of a guarantee to find a generator in there. And they're a little bit harder to clear out because going indoors is a little bit more dangerous on apocalypse difficulty than being outdoors. Outdoors is rather easy. easy. You can kite zombies. You can see them coming. Indoors, they can sneak up, get behind you, and you're dead. Um, now for the magazine, the magazine's a little bit different. Um, you guys did vote for me to try to find a generator magazine, but... Uh, there's a few different places for that. So one, you can go to places that have like magazine racks, like convenience stores, gas stations, etc. There is a possibility that there's a generator book there. Uh, bookstores also have a high chance of having a generator magazine. And the advantage of a bookstore is I can also just pick up the books that I need. So there happens to be a bookstore pretty nearby. And I think that's where I'm going to head. And that would be here. That is a book naked bookstore. Uh, so that is my first goal, I think. So let's get to sleep. I need to reorganize my inventory because I was carrying refrigerators or freezers for the potatoes. So the first order of business is to find the generator magazine because uh, I think that's going to be a lot more difficult than actually finding a generator. Unfortunately, probably significantly more difficult, but uh, we'll see. Wow, my dude is sleeping in. 10.30 in the morning. I am envious of that quantity of sleep. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, grab some... I'm going to grab these random vegetables. Just let them defrost in my inventory. And I think what I'm going to do is go, go on foot to where the generator uh, book or the book naked is. Because uh, there's really not a need to bring a car except for the carry weight. And the problem is I don't really have a good vehicle. I don't have a vehicle that is um, guaranteed to be any good for me. So I'm going to put coffee in my back fanny pack. As well as one other 0.5 weight item. So that would be... Huh. Well, screwdriver's point four. Oh, a uh, hand torch. Perfect. Coffee and a hand torch. My night tools. So I don't. Uh, I don't really have a good vehicle, like I said, uh, because I busted mine up. Now a lot of the cars around here, I do have keys to, but I don't think they're particularly high percentage cars. They're not. Uh, they're not ones that are going to survive a lot of damage. And Elizabeth and Siddhartha. Thank you for the uh, the resubs and Bryza for the bits. Welcome. So if I open up the map, you can see where I'm headed. It's not very far. 
right? It's just, uh, I'm here, and I'm going down, like, a block and over a block. And hopefully there aren't going to be too many zombies uh, in the streets for me to clear with any luck. My current kill count is about 435. 284, or 200, yeah, 284 of those are, uh, are with weapons. Zero fire and 151 with cars. I do suspect that my immediate neighborhood is rather empty because because of all the car running over that I did. Is there a mechanic trait? There is not a trait for mechanics, but there is a background. Um, so you can start off with higher... There, there. Actually, no, that's not true. There, There is both. A background and a trait. I don't... I haven't taken either, though. Okay, so down to the next intersection this way, and then to the southeast. The other thing I might want to do is lose some layers while I'm outside. But we'll see about that. Oh, another Louisville net. Of an area I already have revealed. So I have revealed every other town in the game, except for all of Louisville. So, oh no, that's not true. I guess I have all of Louisville revealed. I didn't know that. So this is the animal shelter. I believe you can find some um, drugs in the animal shelter. It wouldn't be terrible for at some point me to go look for beta blockers because that's going to be really helpful if I have a, a horde on my hands. And I was going to have a potato, but not right now. Too many zombies afoot. After all that, Louis is just like, ah, I could use a cigarette. Fifth kill of the day. Or fourth kill of the day. Oh, you even brought matches. Yep, it's about 20C in the game right now, which is pretty temperate. I am, however, wearing a lot of layers. Right, I have a denim shirt on, I have baggy jeans, a leather jacket, a military bulletproof vest. Um, I have a lot of layers, and it, it makes total sense that I'd be pretty overheated as a result. Nope. I've definitely pissed off a few more than I meant to. As long as they're coming at me roughly one at a time, it should be fine. Fun fact, lighters were invented before matches? Yep. I knew that. I think Louie here pissed off a... Uh, a few. Alright. So in situations like this, let's back up, take some pit blockers, and make sure that we fight this smooth. Ooh, you got a hunting knife in you. I don't really need it. But yeah, I don't want it. They're pretty common. Alright, little update where I am to where I want to be. So I am, like, only a half block away. Except for all of these are houses. These orange buildings. So they're rather populous. I could try to sneak, but the thing is, like... My only, my only gripe with sneaking is it relies upon the zombies not shuffling and blocking you in if you sneak to get to your destination. Because it's entirely possible that you sneak there and then there's no way to sneak past them on the way home. Meaning that you've just 
made a bad situation worse, because you're usually more tired, fatigued, etc. on the way back than on the way out. So, whenever possible, I... I just fight my way through. Even if I don't get there in one day, it's probably a safer approach. Also, the noise that these zombies are are generating is going to attract other zombies, and if you're not fighting through them and relying on sneaking, can death ball. And ain't nobody want a death ball. All right, looking good. Eat the rest of my potato. Let's see if I can't peel this crowd. So we're getting pretty close. Uh, so this terminates into actually a high fence, so I don't want to go this way. I'm going to start to turn around. Because um, another big thing is don't climb uh, sight blocking high fences. That's dangerous because you have no idea what's on the other side. The, um, the chain link fences are fine because you can see the other side. But uh, at the end of this was a wooden fence that blocks the sight. Oh, hello. It's about to get complicated. I pissed them all off. But I'm getting better with the two-hand blunt. They're getting knocked over. Unfortunately, my nibble skill is not very high, so I can't easily fight them and walk backwards. And also, I'm getting uh, exerted. So I'm going to walk this back a bit. And also shed some layers. So that I'm not uh, overheated as well. Because uh, there is no running water, so I don't really want to drink extra. Let's take a look. Body temperature. I'm definitely warm, but it's better without the extra layers. All right, let's get back to it. You can see, as soon as I get exerted, my damage goes to hell. Not very good. And I think those initial beta blockers have worn off because I'm getting pretty panicked too. Do I have a base? Uh, I do. A fledgling base. Just a little starter base, but it is still a base. Nimble is one of those skills that are is very useful, but also very annoying to level up. Uh, because the only way to level it up is to basically combat walk constantly, like this, and it's incredibly boring unless you cheese it. Because there's nothing stopping you from like combat walking into a corner forever. But I never really want to go from point A to point B combat walking because that just is going to take so long and be very boring. All right, this looks as good a place as any to catch my breath. I am the lighthouse. Hey, Zashi. Thank you for the resub. Still catch it up on Wendy's story? You love the radar tower rest? Yeah, I mean, I do have keen hearing, which gives me a little bit of advanced. It gives you the vision bubble kind of behind you. Keen hearing is one of my favorites. Like, keen hearing and fast learning are, like, two that that I t try to take if, if I can afford it. Um, but when you're sitting on the ground, it takes a while to stand up. Right, so you kind of need a spin like that, as silly as it looks. 
What's my skill levels? Yeah, let me get into that. Here they are. This is uh, our five and a half, or five and change, of playing. So, not super skilled yet. The name of that, uh... That potato factory is not safe for work in German? <laughs> I don't know, know German, so I'll take your word for it. Hey, Dedora, cheers. Now, I might need to, um... To come back to this task tomorrow. It's uh, getting a little late in the day. Do I make an effort to watch the UV shows? Uh, yes and no. I do it meta, meaning I read the books first, and then usually collect the tapes. Alright, let's see. So this is a gym. Um, where am I exactly? Okay. Still need to go forward. Just making sure I'm going the right way. Here you go. And for you. Right, little check on the crowbar. It's about a third left on it, but that's actually very healthy for a crowbar. Uh, don't, don't, don't trip me. I saw the bookcase, figured why not. Oh, one of them's moving. So, metalwork, I need. Mechanics, I don't. This I need. And that I need. But let's not get eaten. I'll come back for that. Anyone coming in after me? Some extra reading material. One, two, and three. There's still someone in there. Hello? Oh, with a fresh leather jacket. I've been collecting the leather jackets because at some point I plan on reading the tailoring book and then getting my armor legit. So this is the last stretch. The green building, right where my head is, right here, is the book naked, I believe. So definitely not going to get there tonight, because I'm sure I'm going to get drowsy before then. But I got pretty close. We cleared out a decent amount. And if, with any luck, I'll be able to to snag myself some uh, generated magazine from it. I mean, I don't think I'm going to get that lucky, but there's a lot of other bookstores. And then, of course, there's the LSU Library. The Louisville uh, State Library. And a few other um, high-chance book places as well. Watch the meta event happen? Uh, the meta event already triggered cheese. And hey, welcome to the stream, by the way. I, well, okay, the big meta event happened, but of course there could be smaller meta events. But the Chopper Boys have already been, been down in my neighborhood, so I don't need to worry about them anymore. How about training my sprinting skill when I come back? Just like sprint back home? I could. I don't find it's a particularly useful skill most of the time because if you're... Pretty much, if you're sprinting in Zomboid, you've made a lot of mistakes already. And you should probably just not make those mistakes. You know what I mean? Um, stamina or endurance is a finite resource. And... Uh, that's why I kind of walk everywhere. It's like one of the only games where I walk everywhere because you want the energy to be able to fight. So, 
sprinting is kind of a fool, foolish thing that only new players do. Or players that are like... Need to be very quick about getting away from something dangerous, I guess. There's not a lot of situations where sprinting is a good decision. Unless you're trying to like outrun a chopper or something. That's why I never level it. You were the one with the leather jacket. And I'm out of carry weight. Am I still live from the other character? Uh, this is the Louis series. That answers your question. Come on now. Alright. After this grouping, I'll probably turn back and rest for the night. Maybe get an earlier start tomorrow. Guy has nice hair. And very nice pants. Oh man, I am so close. Okay, I I'm gonna push it. I haven't gotten drowsy yet. I do have vitamins in case I do get drowsy. I just don't want uh, this whole neighborhood to backfill. So this was the wooden fence that I didn't want to climb over because you can't see past it. And someone, uh, yeah, there you are. Come on. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. I thought I... The window definitely broke behind me, but I thought it was one that would have let the zombies jump out at me. Now, with my luck, the... The alarm will be armed in Book Naked. And I'll have gotten there, and it will just signal, and I'll have to leave. That would be one of the only times to sprint uh, when you've triggered like a car alarm or house alarm, building alarm, and you need to get away from the source of the noise promptly. Have I played Heartland? Nope. All these guys, Taurus, they all have maps. The big Q out, out of the window, what are they selling? Flesh. It's probably the only thing zombies want. Well, no alarm. Where's the light switch? I hear zombies. Must be in here. Hey, Guero, thank you for the bits. All right, this is a good place to fill up my water bottles and then have a little bit of a breather because I don't think anyone heard me coming in. And then I'll check some of the uh, shelves. I'll probably end up ditching the um, some of the leather jackets I grabbed too. Or, you know what? I should probably just shred them. Because they'll be lighter that way, I think. We made it to book naked. I don't know what the... Uh, what the chances of me actually finding the... Uh,
the stuff I want in here is, but we'll see. I'm also going to stick my, um, my armor back on. Uh, you know, I just realized is I don't know which one is my leather jacket. I might have already shredded my personal jacket. I'm going to assume that I already shredded my personal jacket. But it was not tailored well, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, uh, maybe it was this one. No. Okay. Whatever. So it's getting a little late in the day. I'm going to want to turn back soon. Well, I don't like that noise. Okay, it def definitely freed up some space in my uh, my inventory. So there we go. Got all the leather strips nice and clean. Just making sure that I am set to go when the door opens. So we have tons of books here. I haven't seen any magazines yet. Uh, so let me start taking the at least level 1 and level 2 books, because those are the ones I'm going to need first. So tailoring 1. Check that off my list. So I need metalwork 1 and 2, tailoring 2, trapping 2, first aid 1 and 2, farming 2, cooking 2, carpentry 2. And carpentry 2 is right here, so check that off my list. I'll come back at some point for the 3s and ups books. I'm not too worried about that. Um, so here's metalwork two as well, and check that off my list. Because I have a finite amount of carry weight, and level three books are probably not ones I'm going to read anytime soon, other than maybe carpentry. That would be the only case of a book where I could see myself reading it sooner. So we have got... Uh, Forge 2, I think I needed. Yep. Uh, first Aid 1 and 2. I hope I don't need to read those books, especially not Volume 2, because it means I've gotten seriously hurt. Because you only really level up First Aid patching yourself, but whatever. Um, okay. I do have Electricity 2. And... That would be it from this, I think. Cook 2, Carp 2. Per well, I already have car Carpentry 2. So there's Cook 2. And now I have every single level 1 book. And the only level 2 books I don't have is Farm... Well, no, I don't have Metalwork 1. But I'll have Metalwork 1, Farming 2, Tailor 2, or Trap 2. So those are the only ones I'm really looking for at the moment. And maybe Carpenter 3. So there's Farming Volume 1. Cool. And there's Trap 2 there, too. Oh, no, I actually have Farming Volume 1. I need to fall your, fall, Farming Volume 2. I'm bad at this. But I did want Trap... And Taylor 3. That's Trap 2, Taylor 3. Cool. So, Metalwork 1 and Taylor 2 and Farming 2. There's the farming. Metalwork 1 and Taylor 2. Oh! We got it! How to use generators. That's the big one. 
That was the really important one, and we just snagged it. Awesome. Uh, do I plan on moving around? Or once I set up shop? You'll have to tune in and see. I have a plan up here, but whether, you know, but plans are flexible. So I might need to be flexible. Uh, I still need Metalware 1 and Taylor 2. I keep finding like Metalworks 3 through 5. Taylor 4, Metalwork 2, Metalwork 5. <laughs> Come on, quit trolling me. I mean, I guess I did get the magazine, so like... Ah, uh, there we go. Metalwork 1 is done. So now I have every single level 1 book, and the only level 2 book I'm missing is tailoring. Uh, red, unread. Metal containers are kind of nice if you ever get your metal working up that high. Oh, there's another metal working book. Metal fences, sure. And uh, Taylor 2 is right there. Oh, I ran out of... Uh... There we go. So now I have every level 1 and level 2 books, and I do have level 3... Oh, you know what? I didn't pick up Carpentry 3. I meant to, because Carpentry is probably the next skill I'm going to grind. So I might as well have Carpentry 3, 4. So I just picked up Carpentry 4. Uh, but but uh, while I'm here, let me grab a Carpentry 3. If I can find it. I'm sure it's been here and I just overlooked it because my brain was not actively... Yeah, there it is. Carp 3. Yeah. There's almost no reason to go to Carpentry 5 unless you're trying to like build barricades to keep zombies out. So there we go. Um, that is all that I need from this bookstore. And that works out because I still have carry weight. So I'm not over encumbered. Maybe what I'll do is uh, I will fill out the rest of the books while I'm here. Just so that I have to make fewer trips. So trap four and five. I'll write those down. And I just got drowsy, so it, I might turn around. Farming five. Once you collect every book, you know, you don't have to do this search ever again, which is kind of nice. Um, Taylor four. And that will be it, because any more than this and I'll be encumbered and I don't want to be encumbered. Did they see me? Oh, they did not. Sneaky little Louie here. There was a mini whore just outside and they didn't have any idea. Have I gotten a car yet? Uh, sort of. I need to assess whether the car is uh, usable or not. I have a bunch of keys to vehicles. Oh, you know what? I didn't realize there was three of you. But I haven't really assessed the condition of said vehicles. So they may be beaters. I want to deal with this. Four of them now, I guess. Question for all of you. What to do tomorrow? Find tapes. Uh, find a generator. Or organize loot. Or other viewer suggestions. Have you guys decide? Do I have spare vitamins? No. 
Oh, hi, you guys. I just got drowsy again. Lucky you, I get to beat on you a little longer. Okay, I do have a map of Riverside. Not that uh, Louie here is allowed to leave city limits. But he's uh, an amateur cartographer. And this is what I was referring to. You never know if um, zombies are going to backfill your way home. Which is why I choose to fight and sneak money through things. Because there's a group of zombies right out here that... Had I left all these zombies alone, this group would have been even more annoying to deal with. Ooh, crits. Quite overheated. Oh, yeah, I forgot that I'm outdoors now. I should have probably... Oh, God, that's more than I bargained for. And there goes the last of my vitamins. And it sounds like there was just a meta event up ahead that's going to put more zombies in my way. So that's good. What happened to the katana? I just, uh, I put it away. Didn't want to needlessly waste it. The higher your, um, the higher your maintenance skill is, the more you, you take care of your weapons. So high value weapons, like at the top, the katana are best used when your maintenance level is really high or when you have a, a somewhere to go that's really dangerous and you're going to need a weapon that is very efficient at killing zombies. Oh, now my damage is going to be awful. Drowsy and exerted. Do I like Long Blunt best? Um... I don't like one thing best. If you plan on tailoring clothing, Long Blunt is probably superior than Sharp. Because Sharp weapons ruin clothes. And give you less resources for the, uh, for the zombies that you kill. But, um, they don't kill as fast as the weapons. They're just more durable. Yeah, in terms of sheer killing speed, long sharp would be the probably the fastest killers, and then axe, depending if you have axe man or not. So it looks like we're gonna find a generator. Got it. Um, where to search for a generator? The military checkpoint or um, self storage? You guys decide on where I look for it. The military checkpoint's kind of far away. I'm definitely going to need to drive there, which means uh, I'm going to need a car that can make the trip, round trip. And self-storage is, is certainly no guarantee. I could come up dry, but uh, there's a lot of self-storages closer to home for Louis here, so it's possible that he does not need a vehicle. I haven't assessed whether or not I have a car that can make the round trip. There's a generator in the shed by my spawn point? Yes, I, I know. I uh, actually covered that at the start of the stream. Uh, but that's further than the military checkpoint. And the military checkpoint ones are guaranteed. So they're just as, you know, it's closer.
grabbing some garbage bags, because uh, I do hope that I'll be rain barreling soonish. Might as well have them. Ooh, another gas can. Uh, fine. I'll be encumbered for that. Yep, I know there's propane in those barbecues. I'm not metalworking right now. I don't need propane, plus I don't have to carry weight for 10 more kilos. Or 20 if I grab both. I could mark it down, sure. The, the reason I wouldn't really need to mark it down, though, is um, I know it's there. So it's not like it's going anywhere, I guess. You know what I mean? Like, I have a pretty good understanding of the map around me. Uh, but yeah, I can mark it down as uh, propane. I guess a little fire icon is good enough. Well, that was a pretty good library run. I got the magazine I wanted, which is incredibly good, because sometimes that can be very challenging to find, and then I got all of the books that I wanted. Honey, I'm home. Oh, yeah, that's right. I live alone. All right, so it looks like we're going to head to self-storages. Got it. So I have to figure out which self-storages I want to head to. And it's already, like, time for bed. So instead of, um... Instead of fussing with, uh... With books here... I'm just going to make this as fast as I can. Packing everything away, and I'll deal with the mess tomorrow. Or some future time. I need a mannequin companion? <laughs> Uh, let's see. Am I holding... I do want those oranges. I'll eat them in the morning. And I don't really know if I need an axe and a machete on me. So I'm going to get rid of the machete for now. Because the axe is a pretty good backup weapon. Plus I have a hand axe, and that hand axe should be on my belt. Now I'll free up some weight. I'm going to stop reading... Oops, don't do that. I'm going to stop reading the electrical book and start reading the carpentry book. That's a gas can. Let's try that again. Because that's the skill I want to build up next. And sleepy time. Vitamins are still empty. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to want to grab some new vitamins as well. So just behind Ready Prep is actually a secure storage facility. I don't think that there's a high likelihood it has generators, but it's so close that that's where I'm going to head to first. So I'll mark that down. So book naked. Uh, let's say... There's no book icon. Hmm. I'll just put a smiley face. So here's where I'm headed. It's just this building. This is a self-storage building. It's very, very close by, like I said. Let's grab some vitamins. Not that I think I'm going to get tired at 9 in the morning. I'd have to be, like, anemic for that. There we go. And grab some other fresh fruit. Grab some potatoes. Water's looking okay. I filled up on my way out. So, heading on out. Now this crowbar is down to about a fourth, maybe, condition-wise. So I gotta, gotta keep an eye on that. This is one of the vans or keys I have. Let me check this out. I've actually never checked this van out. I just knew that I had the key to it. It's in pretty good condition. Uh, it has no gas, but it does have a gas tank. Some of the brakes and suspensions are a little dinged up, but uh, otherwise, 
Nope, no real problems. Oh, great. Perfect, 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 perfect. Um, I didn't have a jack. It was the only other tool on my checklist of tools besides a generator that I didn't have. So I have a jack now. That way I can change tires and and the like. Have I found a generator magazine? I have, yes. Uh Oh, I guess I have keys to this car, too. This is ridiculous. This car looks uh, beat to hell, but... But let's see. Very ugly bodywork. It's actually not in terrible condition. It's like two doors in the hood uh, that are really, really bad. The engine's in pretty good condition. The quality sucks, so it's going to have a hard time starting. Got any gas cans? I do. I have plenty of gas cans. That is not an issue either. I can fuel these up, no problem. I have gas cans with gas in them. I just don't really have a need to drive anywhere at the moment. Nope. Yet another gas can. Don't mind if I do. What I don't have is a secured gas station, but we just haven't voted for me to do that. So it's not on my radar of things that I'm going to bother with until... Oh, I have keys to this car, too. Dang. Louie, you are the car king. Uh, let's go this way. Oh, yeah, that's a whole wall. I'm not going to jump a blind wall. Let's go the other way. Razdaz, thank you for the sub, by the way. Can you carry water and gas cans, too? Uh... I, you know what? I don't know. I know you can carry gas in other containers, but I don't know if the inverse is also true. I haven't ever tried. Have I thought about doing more multiplayer runs? That's a really good question, and I actually surveyed my community about that uh, last month. And I have a whole write-up about the survey on my website and Discord server. But the TLDR is, no, nothing like that is planned because... There was very low interest of the respondents to the survey for cooperative uh, series. All right, I am outdoors, so I'm going to go ahead and pack away some of my armor for now. Well, yeah, I'm going to pack away my armor for now, and then when I go indoors into the self-storage facility. You know, one thing I should have brought is a sledgehammer. Um, yeah, let me walk a shame, go get one. Because I, I shouldn't just assume that I will be able to get into the self-storage. You can always, like, bash doors down into the self-storage. But that's more time-consuming and ruins weapons pretty, uh, pretty quickly. So all the things that I want to just quick dump into the home, I'll have in my inventory here so I can just quick transfer. Am I going to bring some of those cars back? Um, I don't know. I don't really need them at the moment. I haven't had any sieges or anything that my dinky little walls couldn't handle, so... One of the things I will tell you in Project Zomboid is preparing for things that are not likely to happen is waste wasting your time in most cases. So short of like a uh, short of like another chopper, which can't happen with the current uh, game settings. Um, it's not that likely that I'm going to need like car car barricades and the like unless it's just for for looks. If it's for looks, yeah, I understand that. But I have some much cooler ideas about base design than just using cars to block doors. 
And even then, it's not that effective. Thank you for tuning in to Project Zomboid King of Louisville, which originally streamed live on Twitch January 26th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodomot.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodomot.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch a next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow zombie slayers. 